Dickie and Mickey back with another episode brought to you by YouTube or uh, whatever your fucking needs are. <laughs> Anyways, we uh, I just got done with the uh, a, a, a solo run by myself, and apparently we've got a hefty ass worn out for myself and Mickey. But uh, I just got done taking a piss. And he said he's been wondering where I'm at. And I forgot to tell him that we got Mona's money and he's probably got Mickey's money now. But I'm going to walk over here because I see you sitting over here by the van and shit. So let's hop into it. I got the prior stuff ready. Mm hmm. Not legit. Sitting in a weird ass position. Who, me? Yeah. On my screen, I'm sitting fine. What's up, man? What's up, man? That shit. I just got done with a run. Yeah, I and know. I made, it, I, I made it back safe. That's good. Uh, yeah, Mickey uh, Mickey Jr.'s and Mona's money came in. That left your uh, envelope on the inside that trailer over there. Oh, yeah. Marcus, or not Marcus. Fuck that guy. Uh, Marcus. Pedro, Pedro was telling me about it. I was about to say, you're dealing with Marcus, man? Hell no. Fuck that guy. 11 seconds. Eight. Okay, let's get ready. Oh Damn. Someone beat us to it. That's fine. Mm. So Anyways, we... man, yeah, I got the uh I got my money as I was dropping the stuff off and I, I got a notification from the bank and I'm like, What? Where did I get all this money? And then I talked to the teller lady, and she said, yeah, uh, it's something about your sister's death benefits. And I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 Mona. And they're like, yeah, we're sorry to hear about her passing. And I said, I'm not. Took the money and left. Yeah. yeah li literally, the, the, I, when I went to go pick up all the money and whatnot, they were trying to tell me, sorry for your wife's. And I said, she threw me off a bridge. And the guy's like, oh, yeah, she did? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, how'd she die? I was like, I killed her. And he was like, oh, yeah. He was like, well, if you killed her, then that means the other guy that came in earlier named Dickie, you guys ain't allowed to have this money. I'm like, what are you talking about? I just took it anyways walked out. Apparently, when I was leaving, he was screaming out the door saying that he's going to call the cops on us and get the money taken away because we're not supposed to get it because, I guess, like, we killed her. Yeah, technically, if they find out that we're felons, we're not allowed to take the money. So that's why I didn't say anything about that. I mean, hey, he asked. I just told him. Mm -hmm. But you already had the money in hand first, right? Yeah, I already had the money in hand, and he wanted oh, it back. Okay. And so, yeah. And just so you know, yeah, he probably called the cops, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, I already have been told by another than uh, Tuco and another than Pedro and all that, and Paco and all them, that apparently... Uh, I got a charge out there. I'm an animal abuser. Yeah, I got the same one. I'm like, they said they we were uh, shooting shotguns at fucking fish or some shit. Nah, we were never doing that, man. I don't remember that. And I, I know I get pretty high at times, but no, nope, that never happened. I mean, I know back in the 90s, me and you decided to, like, do the battery thing and throw it in the water and then try to, and, but we never done this since you the 90s. You know, the fish to come back up, but yeah, man, that was, that was back then. Yeah, that was the 90s. We haven't done it since because we went to jail for that. Yeah, fuck all that, but I see, I see you already got yourself a new ride, man. Oh uh, yeah, uh, uh, another than Tuco and uh, Paco and Pedro bought this for me. It's got some, oh, shit. it's got some nice rims on there. They said that these rims yeah. are better for this van because it matches. Nice. Yeah, I'll, nice, I'll start it up man. for you. It sounds like it lights yeah. underneath. What? Oh shit! We're moving up in the world. Yeah, we're we're moving up, man. Open up the doors, man. Let me see. Hey, man. One second. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, what? There's like two trunks. Well, you got two little trunks here. That's cool. Mm. Hey, you got a little hiding spot back there too, man. That's cool. Yeah, man. I like it. It's kind of roomy, though. But, uh, I don't suggest we sleep in it or anything because it don't look comfortable. I mean, no, not really. I mean, it's not, it's not for sleeping. He just gave it to me because he said we've been doing so good with selling the drugs. Hell yeah, man. So he, I'm hoping I I'm hoping I get a reward next, too. Yeah, so he gave me a new van. I mean, there was, a, there was two options he had. He said I could choose this one, but then there was, like, some other one that had, like, curtains and whatnot. That one seemed pretty cool, but I went to something similar because the one in L.A. I had looked like this, but it was just rusty. Yeah, yeah. And this one's not rusty, and this one looks brand new, to be honest with you, even though it's not. Mm -hmm. But to me, it's brand new. It's like an old surfer van, man. It is a surfer van, but the... the oh, surfer, sweet. But the surfer van I had back in L.A. and the one I had in Wisconsin, it was, like, rusty. Yep, I remember it. Yeah, it was, like, the one I got from, the, like, the, the junkyard. But this one's, like, a brand new one, apparently. I mean, not new to me. Well, new to me, but not new to, like, the world. Oh, right, right, right. It's gotcha. Something. Because some, some people owned this van before, but they took care of it. I mean, look at it. Yeah, it looks in great fucking condition, man. It does, man. Hell yeah, even the inside, the leather's nice, all of it. Yeah, man, it is. Hell yeah. I even, I even like, like the front, front too, man. Yeah, I like the front too, man. It looks classic. Sweet. Well, uh, what do you want to do today? I don't know. What, what do you want to do? I mean, apparently we're wanted for being animal abusers, and we got all these other charges that he was reading to me, too. Yeah, I've seen the whole fucking record. It's fucking wild, man. Um, I don't know. I mean, we could go down to our favorite bar, but, uh, you know, we're trespassed there. I got two trespass records from there. Yeah, I think I got a lot of trespass records from there. <laughs> and I heard they, uh, they refinished that new, uh, that one bar that we, uh, that, that we burnt down over there by the, the PD station. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. We can go drink there. I know we're not really fully banned there from the police. Nope, nope. Just a bar, just a bartender that one is there. Yeah, I guess it's new owner, so like, I don't think we know anybody there. Oh, well, let's go for a ride, man. All right, man. All right, got the doors all closed up. All right, man. I'm gonna light one up now. All right, man. Let's head our way to the bar. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, man. What the fuck? Oh shit, that's the horn man? Oh wow. Yeah, let's get some beers, man. Yep, looks like the same shithole, but different, different kind of setup. Yeah. You know what this bar reminds me of? Of a bar back in Liberty City, man. I think I know which one you're talking about, too. Yeah, I used to see uh, some, like, Russian guy play with some black guy in there all the time. Yeah, it was right off the highway. Yeah, right off the highway, man. Yeah, I, I think I'm a little familiar with that. Yeah, it's been years since I've been on Liberty, but yeah. It kind of reminds me of that bar. Yep, and it does.
Oh shit, did someone just get shoot in the back in the alley? Mm -hmm. Sound, sound like a gunshot back there. Gunshots? Yeah, it sounded like if from behind me, like in the alley back there. I'm not sure if there's an alley behind this bar, but it sounded like someone got shot back there. Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's go check it out. I'm not sure, but I just heard a pa pa. Several bad puns later. Hey, this looks nice. Yeah, I know. Looks like I a think little. It's a, looks like a, a a document place. Looks like yeah, like a DMV. Like you stand here, you take your photo, you know. You gotta have that backdrop. A few inches later. Right. Hey, baby, hand me another beer. Yeah, I'll take another beer, sweetie. You're actually pretty cool. I didn't like the other people that were here. Yeah, what, what was her name? Cindy? Carmela? Kathy? I don't know. I don't know what her name was. I don't know either. Oh shit, you said your husband died last week? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna pour one out for him. There you go, man. Pour one out for the homie. I don't even know him. Meanwhile... I think I heard someone outside. Marifel Police Department. Yeah. Anyone work here? Anyone at work here? No, I'm just out here playing pool, drinking beer, man. Beer. All right, well, we received... Gotta pour one out for the homies, man. We received a call down here, and uh, the owner requests the out to be escorted off of the property. But Why is that? I've been buying beer. I haven't caused any problems. I don't know why they want y'all to be escorted off. They just want y'all off the property. I swear to God, man, every time we go into a fucking bar, they don't want us here. It's bullshit. I know. Well, let's just get out of here, man. Whatever. Yeah. Fuck this place. Fuck these cops. It's bullshit. Oh, man, that's a nice ride. Anyone in there? Oh, I don't think so. That's definitely a nice car, though. Yeah, I wouldn't mind driving it. Yeah. Slash E finger two. Fuck the law. I think I locked my keys inside, man. Uh, I can't unlock it. I left my keys inside, man. I think we gotta walk now. Pedro's gonna be mad. You can't, can't open, open the fucking door, man. No, the door won't open. It's locked. And I what? left. I left the fob inside. Like we can't legit get in there. Or? No, legit, we can't get in there. I'm hitting E. It's not doing nothing. And I never uh -huh. saved. I never saved another vehicle as my personal. So, uh huh. Yeah, we're just gonna. Oh, we're di we're I di know what happened. We're just gonna have to tell Pedro, man. Fuck. All right. That means we gotta walk. Yeah, we're gonna have to walk, or we could take that orange car. Or... I don't think so, man. Cause there's cops here. Yeah. True. I guess we just gotta start walking, man. Hello? Oh. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, that time is always actually in dispatch. Alright. Hey right, man, fuck it. I guess let's walk. Yeah, we gotta walk. Left my keys in the car, man. Fucking bullshit. Bullshit. Yeah, like my other one, I never had that feature where it had that safety lock. I'm watching that orange car. I kind of want to take it. I know. I want to wait till these cops leave, though. I think they're gonna tow it, though. I don't know whose car that is. Oh. Yeah, that cop just left. There's one. 
What about the other cop car? Hey, brother, I'm going to smoke a cigarette right here, man. All right, man. Try to look down and see if we got any. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to just smoke and look down to see if that cop's going to leave. Meanwhile, hey, come out of there, man. Just come out of there, that's it. Hey, what's going on? Hey, who are you? Quinsela, the, the housemaid. Where's Duco at? Oh, he's not home. You're doing a good job cleaning this house. He's gonna be, he's gonna be really happy. Oh, that's why he hired you. Oh, okay. Oh. Huh? Hey man, remember what happened last time you started cooking? Yeah, but that was because, uh, like, Pedro had, like, a defective, like, tank, man. It was leaking gas everywhere. I just don't know if you know how to cook, man. No, I know how to cook. <laughs> Tell Pedro to buy something. Well, he told me next time he'll buy a better tank. I mean, he got that tank pretty cheap, he said. Hmm. I told him I smelled gas when I started it up. He told me I should have stopped. But I said, I mean, why should I think that's going to have, like, gas or whatnot? I don't know. I know how to cook. I've been cooking for years, man. By the way, man, I think there's a car in the garage that uh, Tuco said we could take. Oh, yeah, I was talking to Guasuela, the, the maid over here. She said, yeah, she said she's going to let him know. She said it'll be all right. Oh, all right, man. Yeah, but it just made me a little quick little grilled cheese to go. Whoa. Corvette. Oh, nice, man. Oh, and it's a stick shift. Yeah, you know how to drive stick. Yep. That, it's been that, a while. That piece of shit Marcus taught you. A few moments later. Oh, they took the bar away. What? Yeah, the bar's gone. I just noticed. Hey, man, they closed down the bar. Yeah, that was our favorite bar, man. why they do what that? The, what the fuck? It's all boarded up now. Oh, man. I even think they took the garage out. Damn, that's some bullshit. That is some bullshit. Meanwhile... I wonder if any cops are going to show up. I don't know, the uh, 311 thing went away. Hmm. Maybe we get RP that we're tired of this dude fucking trying to kick us off his lot. And then I'll go burn his house down. And then when I drive off with the car, you make a 911 call saying we burnt his house down. Yeah. Hey man, this guy, fishing, man? Yeah, this guy's pissed me off. The guy, the owner of the property's trying to kick us off. I'm getting tired. I'm gonna burn his house down, man. All right, that yeah. sounds cool. Yeah, fuck this guy. Then we can get out of here. Make sure you do a big one. <laughs> Two, five. like a hundred by a hundred or something. Yeah, I guess I'll dip out too.
find this guy's house. No. I would have said it right here. Right here in his truck? Yeah. Fuck, it looks like the truck. I, I no, I took the uh, battery out, so I left the hood open. Okay. Let's get out of here, man. Alright, just make a new one call. Yeah, fuck that guy. Yeah, definitely, man. Look, there's a cop sitting up here. <laughs> oh. Not in his car. Still a cop car. <laughs> Oh shit, I think they're going back there to that fire, man. Yep, just keep going. <laughs> yep, sure will, man. <laughs> Just literally turned around. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's going somewhere. Hmm. Where are you going, Mr. Police Officer? Ah, uh, what? The fuck are you doing down there? <laughs> I was gonna follow him, but not down there on that. With, not with this at least. Mm -hmm. <laughs> van's still there. Hey, my van's still here, man. Let's see if it's unlocked. It's probably probably not still. Eventually. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this beer bottle. You ready? One, two. Three. Mm -hmm. I threw a bear bottle. Uh, there's gasoline leaking out of it. Cause that poor gasoline in there, bitch. And my buddy, he's got a lighter. Fuck this bar. You want to kick us out? You want to kick us out? Light it Come up, on. Diggy. Light it up. Fuck All this right, bitch. Alright, I'm doing it. Go ahead. Okay, T. Um, slash normal. I've got it ready. So, if you want to. I threw my bear. Is there anybody outside? Nope. No? Nope. Alright, making a 911 call. 911 calls made. Are you in the car? Yeah. Can I get in? I can't get in. Get in. You gotta get out of here, man. Ah, uh, there is a bike right there. Ah. Uh, oh shit, man. Fuck. I don't know if we can. Can we run on cooldown? We could run. We just can't shoot with guns or anything. Because remember, Indiana made the rule where you're allowed to run, even if there is a pyro going on. You just can. Pyro and cooldown? I believe so. I, I remember you told me that we're allowed to run anytime in Indiana. Alright, gents. Let's 
go ahead and step out from it. What's going on? It's about to feel cool for me. Should we step out? I don't know, it's up to you. It's not a question, it's an order. Well, see you step out and face the field pool. What's going on, man? Both of you out of the vehicle and face the field pool. I'm staying in, I'm not getting out. I only see one of y'all outside. I need the other one to step out of the field pool and face the field pool. I don't think he wants to get out, man. Nah, I'm fine. You can talk to my buddy. I'll go up there and drag his ass out for y'all. No, you ain't got to drag nothing out. Should we leave? Yeah, let's just get out of here, man. Sure. Yeah, fuck that bullshit, man. Motherfucker literally seen us burn the bar down, man. It's fucking bullshit, man. Out of gas, fuck. Yeah. Gonna have to go somewhere we could ditch. But I don't think Rapes would be the best spot to ditch. I don't know where it would be. Oh, this car is wild, bro. I, I know. <laughs> come on, come on. Just drive. Oh, we're almost out of gas. Fuck. He caught up. I was gonna get out. them prongs Shit. Hold on, stand up Stand up sir A drain man His knees are weak Yeah, I'm trying to stand up, but won't let me. There you go. I'm searching you. What do I find? You just found my ID, man. Alright, Mr. Flowers. Oh, 
we go, we've got to go to the station, I gotta go to the gas station. Oh, you said you're gonna let me go free? Nope. Ah, come on, man. Heard you're an arsonist also. You you fled from us. There's no way you're getting let go. I wasn't driving. Doesn't matter. You ran. Ah, come on, man. I'm sorry. That doesn't fix the fact that you ran from us. You could have just gotten out of the vehicle and with your hands up and you would have... Nah, I, I knew we were gonna. Uh, no, I knew we would have went to jail. That cop saw us burn the bar down. No, if you would have stayed with your hands up uh, next to the vehicle, you probably would have gotten let go. That's not what the biker cop said. Well, wait, who? He, the biker cop who pulled us over, literally told us to get out of the vehicle and put our hands up, and he was gonna cuff us. Yeah, detain you. Yep, no, I, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to get detained. No, I don't want to get detained. I don't want no cuffs on me. So I said, fuck that. That bar deserved being burnt down. She kicked us out. Why'd you start that fire too? No, my buddy started it. I just threw the bear bottle. That maybe had a cloth in there. He had the matches, not me. Well, that place is going to be out of business for a while. Alright, sir, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. If you, can, uh, you have the right to an attorney if you can afford one state of any and all appointment to you to understand your rights. Yeah, I understand my rights, man. Jesus. Why is there a cat car flipped up over here? Oh, there goes that building. That scared the hell out of me. Oh, that bitch deserved it for kicking that us out. That literally made me jump. That made me jump. That scared the hell out of me. You're supposed to be a cop. You're not supposed to be scared of anything. No, it was just unexpected. <laughs> well, of course. I said hey, that. That chance. scared the hell out of me. Did you get the uh, plate of the vehicle? Uh, no, I did not. I can check my body cam, though. Get your hands off me. No. Yeah, you're an asshole. Yeah, I know that, sir. Oh, you know you're an asshole? Yep. And you haven't seen asshole from me. Uh, yeah, you, I better not, because I'll knock you out. <laughs> no, that's a promise. Uh huh. Just like this. <laughs> Spit on you. Okay, that's a uh huh. Oh, yep. I'll salt on you some more. Come over here. Let me spit on you some more. I spit it over. He's like, that's an assault toward the police officer. Like, fuck you. I already got a record, anyways. They're still putting out this fire over here. Yeah, I see it now. <laughs> For what reason did you spit on him? Just like that, like I spit on you. Yeah, that's, that's yep. Two counts of assault on a, on a peace officer. Two counts. 
this is gonna be fun. I'm already a felon, so I don't give a fuck. Well, all you're doing is putting more and more time against you in jail. In prison. Don't worry, I got a good lawyer. He'll get me out. I gotta get jailed before I go smoke. Yeah, hmm. <laughs> they're gonna take their time. Fucking assholes. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Ugh, god damn, we got caught again, man. Yep. I didn't think there was going to be a cop when you set that fire. I didn't think so either, man. That was kind of bullshit. Yeah, he must have been inside like the police garage like, getting ready to leave. And as soon as you said it, we took off. He pulled out. I'm like, oh, shit. Should have went the other way. Yeah, we should have. I wish we had more gas in the car, too. We probably could have got away. Yeah, we probably could have, man. What did, what, Fuck, what, sucks. What, What'd they take you to jail for? Because apparently they didn't arrest me for that warrant. Uh, they didn't arrest me either. The guy, did, I don't even remember the fucking guy read me my rights. He just said, all right, gonna get in the cell. I locked the cell. And then uh, next thing you know, uh, I'm, I'm in prison. That was it. Oh, shit. Well, if he didn't read your rights, that's a problem, man. Yeah, I might, I might have to... Find someone uh, like a lawyer or some shit, or have Pedro find me a lawyer to uh, see if anybody knows about that. Get that guy's dash cam. Yeah, well, we'll have to. We'll, 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 we'll have to do is we'll tell Pedro and Tuco and all them about it. And uh, once we tell them, basically, what what's gonna happen is he's gonna go look on the computers, and because this happened to me back in Wisconsin, so he's gonna go look on the computers for you. And then he's gonna find out what cop is the one that arrest you. And he's gonna look at the dash cam. And if he saw that the cop never said that, then that's a problem. And he's gonna hire someone to go take care of him. That's what he did in Wisconsin for me. A cop pulled me over something bullshit, arrested me, didn't even read my rights. And then he said, "Oh yeah." And he was like, "He was like, let me go look up your report." And he was, and he read the officer's name, and then he was like. All right, guess what I'm about to do? I'm like, what? And he pulled out like some suitcase, and he opened up the suitcase, but the suitcase was a computer. It was weird. And he opened it, and it was like all this like crypto database stuff type thing. And he logged in, and he was in the police database, and he pulled out the cop's dash cam. He was watching the the dash cam on his chest and the one in the car, and he never said it. So he was like, that's it. And he was like, he didn't say that to you. That's fucked up. He was like, I'm gonna take care of him. Apparently, that cop was dead the next week. Oh, wow. Yeah, so if, if that cop didn't do anything, uh, Tuco and all them are going to be pissed, man. Because they can't take you to jail without reading your rights. They basically just threw you in here for no reason, then. Basically, it's some bullshit. It is. Don't worry. Paco, Tuco, Pedro, all of them, they're all going to be pissed, man. You don't want to mess with Tuco because that's the connects for the Vagos, man. Yep, him and Paco. Yep. Some crazy motherfuckers. They are some crazy motherfuckers. But yeah, uh, without further ado, I'm just going to continue to work out, ladies and gentlemen. And um, the Dickie's over there going to continue working as well. And well, when we get out of jail until next time... Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and go follow my buddy, God Damn It Danny, which I'll link him down in the description down below for you guys, and he'll do the same for me. Go, go follow him, though, and go see all the new videos that he's been recently doing. You guys have been wanting him to come, and here he is. Yep. Later, y'all. Later. Hey! Listen!